So this is strange. I've never done one of these before. Um, we call these walk and talks. Hello, doggy. And uh, don't know really what to do. I feel very exposed. Usually when I do these videos, I'm in the comfort of my own home or uh, where I can lock the door and no one can see me talk to myself or talk to the camera. Uh, I'm wearing these headphones. They're really not doing anything, uh, mostly because uh, I just want people to think I'm talking to someone else on the other side. But they, for the most part, they won't understand me anyways. Uh, no problem, it's not like I can understand them either. A few years ago, this very strange Spaniard came up to me and told me, hey Mikey, I'm opening up this swing school and I would really love for you to come out and teach. Now I know what you're thinking. Who the hell would invite me to go teach at their swing school, especially in a different country? At the time I was working at a hospital and I was working for my family and I had a house uh, so I had to keep up payments and I had to work a lot, lots of different shifts. And that was about, about three years ago. And three years ago, I was just not in the right place to do anything like this, pick up my whole life and move over to the other side of the world, basically, and teach dance. Do I leave the hospital? Do I leave my family business? Do I go out and explore the world and kind of figure it out for myself? Or do I just stay at a very, very nice Catholic hospital that would have paid for my health insurance? So I had to make a choice, but I didn't know what to do. I just knew I had to make a change. Left my family's business, left the hospital, and just went out on my own. And now it's been about a year and a half since I did that. I don't know if this whole dancing stuff's gonna work. I don't know if it's going to keep me sustainable for the rest of my life. When I first started dancing, I never thought that it would ever take me anywhere. I thought it was just a fun thing to do a couple nights of the week and on the weekends. And here I am almost 17 years later in Barcelona because of all the time and effort that I put into my own dance that I'm here and I'm teaching and it's so crazy. And I really, at this point in my life, I can't think of anything else I would rather be doing. And I think I've been super blessed and I've accepted all the changes in my life and the changes to come, well, I'll deal with them when they come as well. So I'm not saying that I'm something special or that I deserve things, but uh, I do know that I've worked hard and I think that I will accept some of the things that are coming towards me now, but uh, not uh, take it for granted. Because I know one day this could all be gone. What if I break my leg or break my arm? You know, my body is my, basically my job. So I gotta make sure I'm staying good as much as possible. But with Frankie 100 coming right up next week, uh, it does make me think about his history and the history that we're creating right now with the modern Lindy Hop scene. I'm sure Frankie never thought that a kid growing up in New York would ever see the world and uh, be able to do it because of dancing. But uh, I think a lot of us will agree we felt the same thing until we lived the life that we live now. Yeah, sure, there's some crappy parts, but I think the best parts are the ones of making friends all around the world and talking to different people and visiting different places I would have never thought. And lastly, the biggest change, who would have ever thought that I would be living in Barcelona and doing what I love and teaching dance at a giant studio that is ridiculous. This Swing Maniac studio is crazy. It's got 10 rooms and about four hours of classes every night and every class is full. It's insane. But I'm happy to be a part of it. So it's a Jordy. Thank you. And I hope I do a great job for you guys. If not, well, then it's all right. And here's Ingrid. Hey, hey. Wow. And here's where I'll be for the next couple months if you want to see me. Okay. I'll see you later. Bye.